We've all heard of the placebo effect before. We've heard that you can take a sugar pill and you may still have the same response as taking the real medication. But I wanted to do this video to talk about placebo versus nocebo and really the difference between the two and how it relates to getting the best possible shape but also looking at yourself through a completely different lens so you can have success in every single realm of your life. Whether it's business, whether it's at home, whether it's in the gym, or whether it's just how you look at yourself in the mirror. So first and foremost, just to make things clear, what a placebo is, is literally just that. It's something that is like a sugar pill. So if you were to give someone blood pressure medication, and then you were to give another group of people a uh, placebo that was supposed to be like blood pressure medication, you'd be measuring the difference between the two, and seeing which one is a psychological impact and which one has a true physiological impact. But what a lot of people don't know is there's something else called a nocebo. And a nocebo works based on negative impact. Sometimes even just the mere suggestion of a negative impact can trigger your body to actually take on a negative reaction to something. In fact, there was a study that was done by the Technical University of Germany in Munich. And what they looked at were 50 people. And these 50 people were suffering from back pain. And what they did is they had these 50 people perform a flexibility test. Half of them, they told that they were probably going to experience some form of pain. The other half, they didn't say anything to. Well, guess what? The half that were told they were going to experience some pain experienced significantly more pain, whereas those that didn't get anything told to them, they barely had a response at all. So that's a perfect example of how the nocebo works and how just a slight suggestion of something negative can cascade into every single negative thing that could be happening to you that day simply because you're believing it could happen. Now, this is just one small scale, but let's take a look at some other things as well. There was a similar study that took a look at those that had prostate disease. They had prostate disorders, they were having issues with their prostate in general. And they told them that a specific treatment that they were going to give them may cause some kind of erectile dysfunction. Well, then another group that had prostate disease, they told them that there wasn't gonna be any issue with erectile dysfunction. Well, lo and behold, those that were told they were gonna have ED, ended up having ED. Now, I'm not here to say that the mind is the all-powerful thing that's gonna dictate exactly how your body works, but there's a lot of science that's starting to back it up. And there was a Stanford University that took a look at this, the placebo effect and the nocebo effect of how we look at ourselves when it comes to health. And that is exactly why I wanted to do this video, because it's pretty darn interesting. Our perception of how hard a workout is, our perception of how hard our activity is, or our perception of how healthy we are greatly dictates the success of our workouts. So yes, Stanford University actually found, and I've experienced this myself, that if you go into a workout feeling like you got a good workout and feeling like you're working hard, that the actual results will be that as though you were working hard. So you actually can dictate how your workout goes just by how you perceive it. Therefore proving that we have a placebo effect on how we look at ourselves. Now, when we factor in the fact that you have this whole action precedes motivation thing, you can see how it can steamroll. And what I mean by that is, if you perceive your workout as being more difficult, then the byproduct of that workout is gonna be a much better result, right? You're gonna get in better shape, you're gonna burn more calories, you're probably going to eat better as a result, but what that's gonna do is that's gonna trigger a result that's gonna to continue to flourish for days on end, simply because now you've achieved the physical result and it makes it that much easier to stay on track. You see, I always say that action precedes motivation because in order to really move forward with something that's difficult, you generally have to see some results or take some action before that process sticks. It's very, very hard to get motivated and actually stick with it without taking action. You see, Motivation is different from just an idea. And motivation is different from inspiration. Inspiration is something that drives you day in and day out throughout your entire life. Motivation dies. And action is going to keep that motivation alive. Your motivation will die every single day if you are not taking action towards that motivation. And the first step towards taking that step of action is believing that there can be action. So if you get what I'm saying, all I'm saying is your workout in the gym, even if it's just something to get the blood moving, could actually be much more efficient at getting you in shape than you believe, simply because you can condition your mind to think that way. And I know this is a little bit deeper than what I normally talk about, and this is a little bit of a different direction from my normal videos on my channel. 
But I feel like we have to understand the psychology of this. We have to understand how our own belief systems can truly dictate how we look at things. And in another video, I want to go into some more detail about how we perceive stress and how we perceive negative things in our life and how that could actually determine how those situations affect our health. Because there was a study that I want to reference really, really briefly just so that you have an idea of what I want to talk about. And that's showing that the impact of stress on your body is only determined by how you perceive that stress. Stress is stress, whether it's good stress or bad stress. It's the same catecholamine response. It's the same physiological response. It's the same norepinephrine and epinephrine response. It's the same adrenal response. The only thing that's changing how it impacts your physiology is if you perceive it as good stress or bad stress, you stress or distress. So I want you to ponder these things and I want you to truly think about the placebo effect of your health. Do you see yourself as healthy? Do you want to see yourself as healthy? Do you see yourself as unhealthy? And when you look in the mirror, what do you see? Are you being real with yourself? Because having a drill sergeant approach on your life can actually just send you in the opposite direction. I'm not saying you have to be a fluffy, woo-woo, weird person, but you do have to take a legit look in the mirror every now and then and appreciate the steps that you take in order to take the next steps to get to that next rung on the ladder. As always, keep it locked in here in my videos. And if you have more ideas on the motivational, the psychological, and even the emotional content that you'd like to see, make sure to hit me with it below because I'd love to do the research and I'd love to bring you my thoughts. I'll see you in the next video.